This month, I have two students with me, uh, Lee Chaplin and Maura Purcell from Neil Cummings uh, School in San Rafael, and they are doing something very interesting. They are co-chairs of their student council. Tell me some of the activities that you do in your student council. Um, well, we solve problems and that may occur many children and um, put together activities. We just started a, a recycling program. And, and what do you do in your recycling program, Lee? We have, um, every day at lunchtime, children have soda cans or bottles, and we have big um, trash cans out there. They drop them in, and every Friday we have a recycling committee who comes and empties them. Maura, you said you, if there are problems that, that um, your classmates have, that you deal with those. What, what kind of problems would those be? Um, well, hallway noise, we had a problem recently. Um, some classes were um, complaining that when students were walking through the halls, they were making too much noise, and it was hard for them to concentrate. So we brought that up, and we came up with the idea. Um, we, just, we just put out a letter in backpack mail and to let all the students know that they needed to be quiet as they were walking through the halls. Did it work? Yeah. yeah. Well, then you're very effective. <laughs> What is, how do you get elected to student council? Every class from third, fourth, and fifth grade has um, people say they want to be in it, and they have a, an election, and then um, every Tuesday there is a meeting, and you can run for office, such as secretary, treasurer, um, president. And the fifth grade, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, fifth grade, the representatives from the fifth grade are the only ones that can be um, president, but Chair people can be any grade, since third, we usually let them be third graders since third graders don't get to run for as many things. When you're running for these offices, do you have to give speeches or do you just l let your classmates know that uh, you wanna, you're want to? you interested in the position? Um, usually you give a speech if you want to really get voted for. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee, what are your favorite subjects in school? Well, I think my main favorite subject is science, but my second favorite subject is creative writing. And what are you doing in science these days? Uh, we do a lot of experiments. We have a very neat teacher who um, it, she involves, you don't just sit down and learn, you do it and get to understand it. And Maura, what about you? What are your favorite subjects? Um, history and also creative writing. What are you doing in creative writing? Well, we're working on making stories and um, Recently, we have been working on expanding a story and putting more detail into them so it makes it a more interesting story. And do you think the creative writing is going to help you uh, in your future endeavors? Yes. Writing letters and... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What do you want to be when you grow up? A reporter and, in my spare time, if I have any, an, an archaeologist. You'll be busy. How about you, Lee? Um, I'm trying to decide. <laughs> I think a veterinarian, because I love animals, or a architect. I like to design and work things out. What kind of activities are, are you interested in? I know, Lee, you said that you um, have been involved in some sports. Tell us yeah. about your sports activities. Um, well, this fall I played soccer, and uh, my team actually went to the state championship, so it was a good season, and uh, I enjoy playing sports. Too, and so congratulations. And, Maura, you <laughs> said that you used to take ballet, is that right? Yeah, and gymnastics. Gymnastics. But um, right now, at the moment, I'm not in anything. Now, when you uh, finish at Neil Cummins, that, that school goes to fifth grade, and then you go to middle school after that? Yeah. What middle school will you be going to? Hall Middle School, if, if yeah, everybody that lives in the area will Goes to Hall Middle School, mm -hmm. and, and uh, then uh, you would go on to? Redwood High School. Mm -hmm. Actually, really. The district is really close together, so yeah. I see. Know where you're going. And so um, now, you're not in the same class together, no. but you work together on the student council. Are you friends outside of school, or do you just have a uh, relationship as you work on student council together? We're friends outside of school. Uh -huh. We've known each other for a couple years. That's yeah. that's very mm -hmm. nice. Very nice. You know, sometimes uh, I've heard from kids that there are some you know problems that. Uh, there are things happening in the communities that uh, they're concerned about. Can you give me some advice as to uh, what I might share with some of my adult friends and the people that I work with in Sacramento 
what we can do to help kids today? Um, keep them busy because mm -hmm. nobody really likes to, you know, sit around and uh -huh. find things that are enjoyable to them um, after school activities or on the weekends, you know, go out and do something. Mm -hmm. And Lee, what do you think? I think that um, children learn at different rates and sometimes think that someone can do a problem in a few seconds and someone takes about five minutes and um, I think that children should get a little more attention in certain things. And so you understand it and not just know how to do it, but you understand it in the process. Well, I think those are wonderful suggestions. I'm really happy to have you here with me today. I want to invite you to come to Sacramento and uh, learn about the legislature. I'd be happy to have you there with your classmates. And I have for you both a certificate um, for the good work that you do in school. Well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us on Assembly Update.